Hey everyone, today we're doing a double knot on a low top shoe. If you're having trouble getting your foot in there, you can just pull your tongue up. Usually kind of widen those out a little bit. Pull your tongue up high, get your foot in there. There we go. All right, so we are here to show you how to do a double knot on your shoe. First of what you want is your shoe to be nice and snug. If you're uh, hiking or doing some kind of sports activity, it's kind of inconvenient. Maybe you're running from a mountain lion and your shoe comes untied. Wouldn't be a good thing. So what you want to do is we're going to be doing a double knot here. This isn't your normal double knot, um, a.k.a. granny knot. That's almost impossible to undo once you have it tied. So if your foot is swelling, you need to get your, foot, your shoe off. You know, I don't know. So anyways, what you want to do is pull that nice and snug, especially if you're, you're hiking or something, not so tight that it cuts off the circulation. But you do want it snug so your foot isn't running, moving around in there and causing a blister or it, um, it's, you're not getting the traction you need or something. Okay, so the way I like to pull it tight is I loop the string over my four fingers and grab it with a thumb and then I use the leverage here to pull. You can also, if you can't pull this way using your arms, if you roll your hands together, you can create a lot of force just by twisting your hands toward the middle and that's pulling out towards the bottom, okay? So let's cross it over. I like to cross over and I like to take the left side and loop it over the right side. Um, you can do a double loop if you want and that does the, actually increases the tension here, I mean the ability to, it causes more friction so it doesn't come uh, loose. So you can do a double uh, one right there. It's a little harder to pull tight, but it doesn't uh, come as loose as easily. Okay, so you, that's one thing that you can do. I don't really do that, but what I do do is, did I say do-do? <laughs> Sorry. What I like to do is now we want to make that tight. So same technique before, fingers or a string over index fingers, grip that with your thumb. There we go, pull it nice and tight. Okay, so a problem you run into, sometimes you let go and it comes loose again. So you don't wanna do that, you wanna maintain tension. So here we go. This is how we maintain tension and still tie our shoe. Now you'll notice if you're holding with one hand, the tension is still there. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm gonna use that, since you don't have another person tying your shoe for you, I can bring this up now gripping this string between my right hand, between my right hand, between my thumb and index finger. Loop that, and then we're gonna grab right here at the base. Okay, I'm grabbing, um, basically pinching my middle finger against that to retain the tightness and grabbing the loop here. Now that frees up this right hand to do the other loop. So we're gonna loop it around and push that through just like that. You can grab it with this hand, still maintaining the tension. And see, I'm still holding it and then release right there and for minimal backing out of that other uh, string that we want to maintain the tension on. So it's still nice and snug. Okay, this is a double knot. So what I'm gonna do is pull these other ones to within about, oh, an inch or so, depending on the length of your shoes, okay? Now, a normal double knot, I used to tie as a kid, and I would just loop it over and tie that sucker down tight. Now, there's, it's, it is going to hold, but taking that thing off is quite difficult. So what you want to do, I go left over right again. I do the left side first, and then right over left, I'm sorry. So make your loop, left hand, take your two strings, push them through here, and pull that tight. Okay. Not a lot of string here, but that's probably not gonna be coming undone. You can make it nice and snug. And also, when you wanna take it off, you just pull this cord, okay? And it comes undone just like the other one. And then you can undo this just like that. What you wanna make sure is out your loop, your cord, your single cord is not through your loop or else you're gonna create another knot. So you wanna pull it through just like that. You wanna get your shoe off. Kind of loosen it up, pull your tongue up, lift from the back. There you go. That's how you tie a nice, uh, convenient double knot that's not going to get too, not too difficult to take off. Thanks for watching, my friends.